What's up guys, my name is Brock, you're watching The Modest Man, and today we're talking about the minimal pants collection. How many pairs of pants do you have? You know, probably more than just six, and so do I. You know, I, I probably have 20 pairs of pants, uh, but these six are really the essentials, and these are the ones that I couldn't live without, and if my house burned down and I had to rebuild my wardrobe, I would start with buying these six pairs of pants. And I think that if, if you're a true minimalist and you really you know, don't wanna own anything extra, I think you could actually get away with only owning these six pairs of pants. So I'm gonna run through them uh, real quick and tell you, you know, where I got them and then what I wear them with. Um, and we have two pairs of slacks or trousers, two pairs of chinos, and two pairs of jeans. So let's start with the trousers. Okay, first up we have the charcoal trousers or slacks. Uh, these are like a medium weight wool, uh, dark gray, almost charcoal color. These are from Peter Manning. I believe they're called the uh, Essex uh, suit pants. Um, they sell a matching jacket, but you can buy them separately. Uh, and I wear these uh, separately. So these are just the perfect kind of business casual uh, pants. You know, you can wear them uh, with a button-up shirt uh, without a tie. You could wear them with a button-up shirt and a jacket over it or a sweater over it. They're very versatile. The color uh, makes them really easy to pair with any shade of blue, white, gray, black. So I think that if you were to only own one pair of odd trousers, uh, and especially if you work in like a business casual environment, the dark gray or charcoal uh, medium weight wool trousers are a great choice. Okay, next up we have just a lighter gray version of those. Now these happen to be in a lighter weight uh, wool, so these are also a little bit better for warmer weather, but that kind of just depends on where you live. Uh, these are made to measure and um, since they're lighter gray, they're a little bit more casual than these charcoal slacks, but they serve basically the same purpose. You know, it's business casual. Um, you could wear them with a button-up shirt. You could layer a sweater over the shirt. You could throw on a jacket. You could even throw on a jacket and a tie, um, but they're just very, very versatile. And given the color, you know, they're easy to pair with basically anything else in your wardrobe. So again, just kind of like a staple. And I think that having the dark gray and the light gray, uh, you're pretty much covered. Obviously you can expand from there. You can get navy or olive or brown or tan, whatever. But I think these two are essential. Okay, so that's our slacks. Now let's talk about the chinos. And I really, I really like chinos. I think they're just that perfect middle ground between casual and dressy. And I think if you were to only own two pairs of chinos, uh, navy and khaki are great choices. Um, I actually think chinos are more versatile than jeans because you can dress them up or down, whereas jeans, you can only dress them up so much. Um, in fact, if I could only choose one pair of pants uh, to own, it would probably be the navy chinos. So this particular pair is from Banana Republic. Um, I really like Banana Republic chinos. Um, they have a variety of different cuts. Um, these are the Aidens, which are uh, not their slimmest fit, but at the time I bought these, uh, it was the slimmest cut. Now they have one called the Fulton, which is even slimmer. And if you're like me, if you're a smaller guy, skinny legs, uh, even something like the J. Crew 484 or like the Bonobos, 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 um, slim chinos are too baggy check out Banana Republic because the Fulton might be the perfect fit for you. The other great thing about Banana Republic chinos is that they're pretty much always on sale uh, and they're always in stock in smaller sizes. So you could wear this um, to a business casual environment. Um, I would usually wear this probably with like a button up shirt tucked in, no jacket, no tie. Um, you could definitely also throw on a sweater, you could throw on a jacket, or you could wear this with a casual button up shirt like this one untucked. You could wear it with a polo, you know, you could wear it with a long sleeve polo, a uh, crew neck sweatshirt. So it's just extremely versatile. Uh, and for that reason, I think that the navy chino is uh, probably the most essential pair of pants that a guy can have. Okay, moving on, 
we have the khaki chino. And I think the word khaki is kind of confusing because people say khaki or khakis or khaki pants and they, they're referring to this color uh, slacks. Um, when I say khaki, I just mean the color. So, you know, these are khaki colored chinos. Um, these ones are from Ministry of Supply, which has rebranded uh, just to Ministry, which is kind of weird if you ask me. Um, but they make great pants. Uh, they're cotton, but they're, they're like a, they have a little bit of a synthetic uh, fabric blended in. I think it's like a proprietary tech fabric that they came up with. And for that reason, they have a little bit of four-way stretch. Uh, they're super comfortable. And so even though these are chinos, you could wear these, like I've taken these hiking, I'll travel with them, and they're just uh, very, very comfortable and durable. Regardless of where you get you know, your chinos, um, I think that khaki is a great color and it's a great complement to navy. So, you know, I have some other chinos, like I have dark green, olive, um, kind of like a medium brown acorn type color. But if I could only choose two, it would be khaki and navy. Okay, let's move on to the jeans. So first up, of course, we have the uh, dark wash, um, slim straight jeans. These ones are from Mott and Bo. And they actually, when that company first launched, they sent me this pair and it's called their skinny uh, jeans in 2932. This is not uh, a skinny cut though, in my opinion. It's more like a, a slim straight, a little bit of taper. Um, I had them hemmed because they're only available in 32 inch inseams, which kind of sucks. Um, so I have them hemmed down to like 27 and a half. And these are, these are great jeans. You know, these are my go-tos. Um, you know, you know this, every guy needs a pair of dark wash fitted uh, jeans that don't have any uh, distressing or any fading or anything like that. You could go, you know, salvage raw denim and, um, and you know, kind of break them in over time and create your own fades. You know, that's, that takes some commitment. Um, th these are like pre-washed and they're, you know, very soft right out of the box. So they're very comfortable. Uh, and they're just solid jeans. So, you know, I, I like I like what Mott & Bow is doing. I wish they offered shorter inseams, but um, I get most of my jeans hemmed anyway, so, you know, it's not a big deal. So if I could only pick one pair of jeans, it would be something like this. You know, the dark wash, inky, indigo blue, uh, no distressing, no details, slim straight fit. And then the second pair of jeans are these guys. And this is a lighter wash. And uh, these are from The Gap. And these are the Stretch Skinny, in size 29.30. And I had these hemmed too. I used to just cuff them when I first got them, but um, after a while I got tired of that, so I just went ahead and got them hemmed. Um, these are really comfortable jeans because they're stretch skinny, so they probably have about 2% uh, spandex. And so they have this four-way stretch. So even though they're super slim, they're very comfy. Um, this is one of those items where, like I wasn't sure, I actually didn't have any light wash jeans. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like them, if I was gonna wear them a lot. So I didn't wanna go too high end, you know, and buy some $200 designer pair of light wash jeans, because I wasn't sure if I was actually gonna wear them. So I got this pair for like 40 bucks from Gap, and it turns out that I wear them a lot, and I really like having a pair of light wash uh, jeans in my wardrobe. So when these wear out, which they definitely will because it's Gap, you know, it's not the highest quality in the world, uh, I'll definitely replace them with something uh, nicer and something uh, kind of more premium and higher end that's gonna actually last a long time. But I think that, uh, you know, having one pair of dark wash and one pair of light wash is a great strategy. So once you have your dark wash and your light wash, you could also throw in a pair of like black denim. Uh, and that's also pretty versatile. But um, I would say first, make sure that you have your dark wash and your light wash, uh, and then expand from there. So there you have it. This is the minimalist pants collection, just six pairs of pants that I think every guy should own and that you really could get away with only having these six pairs. All right, as always, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you like this video, give me a quick thumbs up. And until next time, stay stylish.